and he's as much white as he is black. You know, well, uh, but you know, but, uh, but, but, you know, but already there are a lot of people out there, you know, who, who have all these, you know, beliefs about him that are misguided because of what's been well, in the but media. Well, can I bring up, these, but, but David, let me bring up one, one, one of the big beliefs that I want to ask you what you think. There's this there's this drumbeat that you know he can't win Pennsylvania he can't win the big states only Hillary can win them, but isn't the truth more likely that if he got the nomination that ultimately the party would get together and he would have as much strength in those states yeah. as Hillary? No, would? I think I think the, the the best case for him is yeah of course look whoever is the Democratic nominee it's the all party very will raw be more and personal or less right now united but, against John McCain there will be disaffected voters on both sides who won't but you know that's but they'll the come together that's what happens. and he could win Pennsylvania I, he could think, win uh, Ohio yeah I mean I think the whole Hillary uh, uh, argument. That because she wins the big blue states, that you know, that therefore that They're makes her a stronger forever. candidate. I, I never found that compelling because I thought what more interesting is you know Obama winning a state like Virginia yeah. by 20 percentage points holds open uh, the opportunity for the Democrats to flip a red state and make it blue. And I think that puts he puts more states in play, provided he doesn't continue to lose altitude as I think he unquestionably has yeah. over the last few weeks. I mean, the question, the question is the, 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 the blue-collar Democrats in the blue states who are voting for Hillary over him in the primary, a lot of them are union households, uh, a lot of them have a Democratic past, so some probably come from Reagan Democratic territory. The question is whether those people in the general, having voted for Hillary, will now vote for John McCain mm -hmm. over Barack Obama. You know, on gun issues, on other issues, no, we're never and, it, know it, and, it's, and it's pretty much an open question. Yeah. The unions were working them hard. You know, these folks, like most Americans, don't like the war. And, and, and what, is John, what does John McCain have to say to them about the economy, which is going to be their number one issue, that they're going to find convincing? So I think, you know, I think Obama, you know, could make as strong a play for them as any Democrat given the perils that any Democrat has winning that constituency in a general election. Uh, in our little bit of time that's left, um, the uh, coming up this weekend is the White House, the annual White House Correspondents Association dinner. Um, are you both going? Uh, yes. yes. Okay. Well, now it's interesting that you're going. Why is that? Well, because uh, uh, you wrote a column. I like a free meal. <laughs> no, okay, well, as long as it's free. Um, uh, you wrote a column, I, was it a year ago, about uh, the dinner that I think it was Bush appeared at and was make, was mocking the... It was the, actually three years ago. Three years, okay. he's been to every dinner since. So. Okay, all right. No, no, no I, I, got a, I got a good story out of going that, that it, 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 when you get a scoop uh, from being in a room with 3,000 other journalists who don't get that scoop, um, I'll take they that just any didn't day. see what you saw. Yeah, and yeah uh, it, was, it, was, it was 2005. You were appalled by his It was 2005. It was not the White House correspondent. It was a radio TV, it was but that's, you know, that's a distinction sister. that's yes, probably lost yes. on a lot of people. It's a radio and TV dinner right. in which he came out there. This is 2005. You know, things are not going very well in Iraq, as we've talked about. We've lost, right. you know, th uh, almost... Uh, a thousand Americans, if not more, by that point, maybe close to two thousand. And um, he comes out there, and you know, the president every year is supposed to come out and do a bit of a comedy routine, which I think is a pretty dumb tradition, but even more dumb in wartime. And he gets out there and he does a slideshow mocking the fact that he can't find those weapons of mass destruction. The picture of him looking under the rug in the Oval Office, oh, not there. The, looking the in dog his best drug, not there. Yeah. And I'm sitting at, the t at a table. Granted, with people from Fox News, but they were reacting the way everybody was reacting in that room, more or less laughing. And I'm saying there's something really perverse about this. This is the reason oh, he sent really Americans to war, Washington. why thousands of people are dead. You know, he completely screwed it up. He, you know, he misled the country and, and um, didn't pay attention to the real intelligence, as our book uh, documented. And um, he's making a joke out of this. And it was one of those moments where I felt... I am a stranger in a strange land. At a strange I, you know, dinner. No, nobody <laughs> else seemed to react to that. I, I got home, you know, these dinners have parties afterwards, and I admit I went to the party afterwards where I got to talk to Paul Wolfowitz, <laughs> and, um, and then I got home. The most and, glamorous you know, person yeah. you could find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. George, I think you were p falling over George Clooney at that point, and, um, <laughs> who was a Newsweek guest <laughs> at one of these dinners. Oh, you'll um, get to do that again this year. And, um, and, you know, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I, 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 I mentioned it to my wife, and she says, so you're obviously not going to bed right now. 
<laughs> at two in the morning. So she knows I don't you think, well. I, I don't think I am. And I wrote a piece and posted it right away, you know, saying that I thought this was horrendous. And it was one of the most popular things I've ever written. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of traffic. A, couple, a day or two later, uh, Chris Matthews uh, made the same point. Uh, uh, for, uh, I think the father of an Iraqi uh, soldier who was killed made the same point in uh, New York Daily News. And I think, you know, this idea took well, hold. Well, but I, I mean, but, but, but listen, you know, that was easy fishing, I thought. Okay, so, I, so I, I've what been back would to you want? Since. This will be the president's last White House correspondence dinner, his last talk, yeah. his last opportunity yeah. to go to the podium and be humorous. What would you like to see out of him? An apology. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's unlikely. Yeah. Well, unlikely, but, you know, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm not interested in watching him, you know, joke it up and laugh it up. Uh, the last few dinners, actually, where, the, where, the, where he, his wife, or Cheney have spoken, mm -hmm. they've done these routines, and they haven't even mentioned the troops. Or no. even mentioned the, Cheney did this a few nights ago at the radio team mm -hmm. dinner. He didn't mention the war once. I mean, we're a nation at war fighting for our survival, according it's to It's soon not guys. to be their war. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's soon to be somebody else's war. Well, um, we're I don't want to be too heavy about this. Yeah, let's, okay. uh, do you want to make any predictions of uh, how um, the race is going to end up? Do you want to? Do you want to tell us anything we might not know? <laughs> do you want to be held accountable? Close. Yeah. Do you think? Close. Do you think it could end before June, the Democratic race? Um, only if uh, if Obama were to win big. You know, it breaks or if he wins Indiana and North Carolina, you know, by maybe then maybe it will end. Maybe. maybe that could create it. But then she's got West Virginia and, and you know, and, so it really you know, Kentucky yeah. coming after that. Yeah. So I, I don't. Uh, see it's way it's out on, it can't be predicted. Uh, on Tuesday night, Terry McAuliffe, the yeah. enthusiastic chairman of Hillary's <laughs> campaign, <laughs> was you know, bouncing up and down saying, "We're going to Denver. We're going to Denver." Yeah. You know, and I think in some ways uh, that might be truthful. Um, a lesson. Well, I'm sure uh, he is uh, one way or another. <laughs> but, um, I think a lesson that the Clintons learned from the um, '98 period with the Monica Lewinsky business was that sometimes you just put one foot in front of the other and you keep moving forward and you don't listen to the people who say you have to quit. One uh, last. Do you think Monica Lewinsky will give an interview between now and Election Day? <laughs> <laughs> to you? <laughs> no. no. I, I, why? Why would you? Just what, asking. What uh, you wouldn't see that to be somebody's advantage to put uh, Monica back on the scene once there's an, once, you know, there's no. a... Nominee. Although, hey, look, if, if she becomes a nominee, I'm sure Republicans will bring it up in the, mm -hmm. in the fall. Okay. They'll bring up everything else. Didn't All Monica change package. parties? I, I have not You don't keep up, up with Monica? No, I haven't kept up. Really? When was, the, when was the last time you heard from her? I... <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a it's while. Been a okay, on that note, right. thank you very much. I hope thank I'll you. see you Saturday night. Thank you. Thank you.